Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriveYourSuccess.com. Today we're going to talk about five killer mistakes that salespeople make when it comes to business to business cold calls. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this video today is because these are, these are five common mistakes that I'm always seeing when I'm working with individual customers or when I'm working alongside other salespeople. Um, and I really want to make sure that you understand exactly how these mistakes can pretty much end the call. Now before we get to these mistakes, I, I just want to make one thing clear, and I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos, I've brought it up before. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things on the internet that are promising an end to cold calling, and I don't really want to get into too great a detail as to the type of services these companies provide, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to make that all-important first call. You're going to have to pick up the phone and make that call. Now, whether it's a warm call, uh, and a warm call is when you know, your company is well-recognized in the market, uh, but this customer doesn't have any history with you per se uh, and doesn't have any personal history with your company or with you personally. Um, or if it's a cold call, a situation where the customer has no clue who, you're, who you are or no idea about your company or your products, regardless of whether it's a warm call or a cold call, you're going to have to make that first call. Okay? You're going to have to get on the phone and speak to your customer. So these five mistakes that we're going to go over today, you know, they apply to either situation. Okay? A warm call is when your marketing and your strategy, your marketing strategies are working and you've got your name out there and companies know who you are, um, but they've never actually bought from you. And a cold call is where you know, you've got a customer where you're calling and they have never spoke to you before, know nothing about your company, and are listening to you talk about a product that almost sounds too good to be true. Okay? So regardless of warm call or cold call, you've got to avoid the following five mistakes. Okay? The first two have to do with how you get on the phone. Right? The first mistake is going to be asking this question of how are you doing today? Okay? Don't ask your prospect how they're doing. Okay? They're not doing well. It's just the fact is, is that if you're dealing with a C-level contact, a high-level decision maker, um, you know, an executive, uh, you know, a business owner, at the end of the day, they are rarely, if ever, doing well. And to be quite honest with you, they don't know you. So asking a question like this, it's somewhat disingenuous, okay? And it comes across the wrong way. Don't ask them how they're doing today, okay? You're giving your prospect an opportunity to answer. And if they say they're not doing well, they want to get off the phone, they're going to end the call right there, you've lost them. Don't ask them how they're doing today. Number two, do not ask, is now a good time? Or... Is this the wrong time? Or any question relating to, should I call you back? Is now a good time? Okay? Again, it's never a good time. Ever. These first two questions are, are common with salespeople that almost feel guilty about making a cold call. They almost feel like they're interrupting somebody. And they, you know, to go ahead and, and, and do that, they feel really uncomfortable. So they think they're being friendly by asking, how are you doing today? or is now a good time. If it's not a good time, let your customer tell you, okay? Let them say, I cannot talk to you, I have to get off the phone. Let them tell you. But if you ask these two questions, you're giving them an out. You're giving them an opportunity to answer. What are you gonna do if they answer? I'm not doing well today. I, I don't have time, um, I'm very busy. And then click, is now a good time? Of course it's not a good time, I'm very busy. Click, so don't ask those two questions, okay? It comes from being, you know, feeling guilty about making the cold call, all right? The third mistake is not having a 15 second intro. Now I call this an intro, the other people call this a, a 15 second sales pitch. Nothing is sold in 15 seconds, okay? This 15 second intro, and you gotta practice it, this is about your company's core competencies, your engineering capabilities, your strengths in inventory management, your strengths in customer service. You know, it, this is basically a summary of what your company does, um, who you've done it for, and who you've worked with in the area. Okay? So you've got to work on this. Work on your 15 second intro. Okay? Talk about, you know, okay, you could do something as simple as, hi, you know, Mr. Customer. I'm uh, Ian Johnson calling from such and such a company. We've done a lot of work for companies in your area. We are in this industry and we've done a couple of things uh, uh, pertaining to this or this. Bang. Done. Okay? Not having a 15 second intro is a killer. Okay? In fact, with your 15 second intro, 
That's how you should start off. Okay? Work on it to get it below 15 seconds. The fourth mistake is ignoring your value proposition. Okay, now a value proposition comes from a value chain analysis. Now, a link just popped up above my head. This video is going to show you how to do a value chain analysis. A value chain analysis defines the value that you bring to your customers. Okay? Ignoring your value proposition when you're doing a cold call is, is, is one of the biggest mistakes I see all the time. Because what a lot of salespeople do is they focus their call around Me Too product offerings, around products that their customers can get from anybody, around products that their customers have heard dozens, if not hundreds, of other salespeople cold call them on. Okay? So you've got to choose a specific product or service unique to your company. Okay? You gotta talk about something that differentiates who you are, that defines your core competencies, that defines who you are. The choice is yours. Do you wanna talk about products that every other salesperson cold calls about, or do you wanna talk about something that is unique to your company or a value that you bring? Okay? So, you know, don't ignore your value proposition. Fifth one is ignoring the setup. Now, what do I mean by a setup? Let's say you've identified a product that is unique uh, to your market, a product that your competitors don't have. Let's say in that market, there are basically two well-defined options, okay? Within your market, there's the option A and there's the option C. Now, your customers are well aware of option A and option C, and they know the pros and cons of each, okay? Let's say option A is, um, is not terribly accurate in terms of solution, but it's inexpensive. And option C is very expensive uh, and very accurate, but most customers can't, can't, can't really uh, justify the expenditure. The way you set up your cold call after you've done your 15 second intro and after you've defined what your value is or you've chosen the product you want to talk about is to basically say to your customer, uh, Mr. Customer, we have a product um, that solves this common problem that you see in your industry, except it is not option A and it is not option C. And then you pause, okay? You don't need your customer to come up and say, what option is it or what is it? Any kind of affirmation from the customer in terms of, uh, uh, you know, even, even just a, a basic, okay, what will, you know, and they'll, they won't even say anything more than that. Maybe they'll go, hmm, that, you know, okay. What is it? They may come out and ask, what is it? But you say, we're not option A, we're not option C. We are B. And you pause. And when you pause, when you say, we're not option A, we're not option C, we are B, and you pause, your customer is going to ask you more questions. He's going to ask exactly what this option B is and why it's so unique. So again, Stop asking them how they're doing today. They are never doing well. Don't ask them if it's a good time. You gotta have a 15 second intro. You, gotta, you can't ignore your value proposition. Choose a product that is unique to your company and do a proper setup, okay? Define the most common solutions in your industry, the ones that other salespeople from other companies, your competitors are cold calling on A or C and say, we're not A, we're not C, we're B. And then pause and wait for your customer. The whole purpose of a cold call is to get your customer engaged in the process, okay? You want them asking you questions, okay? And this is exactly how you do it. Now, to finalize all of this, uh, there's another video uh, that I did and the link just popped up above my head. This allows you to tie in your value proposition to your customer's most common fears and concerns and how to ask leading questions in order to expose those fears and concerns and tie it into your value proposition. So that's it. Business to business cold calling mistakes, these are the five most common mistakes I see, and they kill calls. Take care, Ian Johnson, drivesuccess.com. Bye-bye.